Welcome to week 32 of 2023. It's been another quiet week from the prices, especially in crypto, prices flat, actually insanely flat, less than 1% weekly volatility. That's super, super rare. Stock, stock markets down, both things that are actually expected. And in today's video, we're gonna update on what to expect the upcoming week. We have the ending of the earnings season in the stocks. We have the July inflation read. We're gonna talk about Digital Currency Group. We're gonna talk about the entire drama at the moment around Huobi, about Tether, about Binance. It's not getting out of the news. So we have a lot of stuff to discuss. With this, happy Monday, drop in. I hope you are having a good weekend and a good start today. If you missed out on Friday's video where I talked a bit about Curve, I talk about Hex, I talk about all the drama of the last week, then please watch that video because we're not gonna repeat this here. Here we're really gonna go into what to expect in the upcoming week. And to be very frank, I'm expecting once again more from the macro or from the general markets, more impact than crypto specifically. Why is that? Let's start with crypto because it's less impactful actually in this week. Digital Currency Group, I mean, this is a key, key, key topic. They have to settle their loan at some point with Genesis. It seems they managed to raise the funds. And I mean, there's this entire story around having sold off Coindesk for a hundred something million dollars. So initially this was positive and now there's an investigation going on in what's actually happening there. Was there any kind of wrongdoing there? So hmm, let's see, this could actually have a bit of further consequences, way more than initially expected. And the other thing that's really been bubbling the entire past couple of days and something to watch closely are rumors around Huobi not being solvent. Now, where's this rumor coming from? Well, there's actually police reports or there were reports about a police investigation on Friday, just before the weekend. And then there was some really suspicious fund flow around Huobi and the Huobi wallets. And it's just been, yeah, looked into left and right in what actually is going on there and, and what are the issues in all of that. So yeah, quite a yeah, sensitive story to be frank. And on top of that, obviously people have been following the Tether flow. There's rumors that Tether is not redeemable. And I mean, this is something with Binance and why are they creating all these weird stable coins that we've been covering so many times here on the channel. So I don't even wanna go into it. It's just something that I think is really important to watch. Other than that, not much to expect from the crypto markets. I don't think we have much to expect from updates from the uh, ETF kind of side of things. Uh, I think it's gonna be relatively quiet here in August. I don't expect that we're gonna see much macro other than what we're gonna be discussing. Earnings and inflation reading from July, but yeah, not much on that. So I would be surprised if we don't see a relatively flat price. Obviously there may always be a little bit of volatility, but if nothing unexpected happens, that is what I foresee the entire week. And I think that's also why it's a really, really good time to dollar cost average at the moment. We launched dollar cost averaging on Bake. If you head over to Bake.io, we have a really, really cool dollar cost averaging program. Great promotions there. You can win a Tesla actually. So yeah, really, really cool. Check it out. Head over Bake.io and take a look. The key thing actually the entire week is mainly gonna be the earning season coming to a close. I think there's two more weeks of earning seasons and then it's pretty much done. To be fair, I mean, there's always some company reporting something, but obviously July and then, or always the months after a quarter close or the, the, the six weeks after a quarter close tend to be the most active. So that's where we're in right now and it's coming to a close. So far, earnings been actually better than most people had expected and still most of big tech has been selling off. This is also very expected, something I've covered so many times. And the reason for that is very straightforward, it's very simple. It's been a very strong kind of hopium, very strong kind of hype. And at some point, people just like, okay, you know what? It may just make more sense to go into something safer or something that didn't perform as well. And big tech was the big winner 
of the entire year so far around AI and so on. So that's kind of coming to a close this week. The last thing to watch is going to be the July inflation read. For some reference, June was at 3% year over year. This is the lowest it's been in pre-COVID actually. So we are on a really good track. Remember, the Fed wants 2%. The expectation here is that we're going to see a slight increase in inflation to 3.3%. So I would say anything slightly higher than 3% is expected. If we go lower than 3%, this would really be unexpected. So yeah, going to be quite interesting to see that. Uh, I think the inflation rate is going to come out on Thursday or Wednesday. don't know, uh, someone in the week. But these are the key things. We don't have any Fed meeting in August. So yeah, it's going to be a quiet month. It's a quiet summer. And so perfect, perfect time for dollar cost averaging. You feel this left and right in the communities. Communities are very frustrated in crypto. I really believe the main utility that most cryptos have is simply the price. That's the utility. And so everything centers around that price. There's very little fundamental. And so it's very tough for a lot of communities when nothing happens. So yeah, what does this mean? For me, it means dollar cost averaging. It means building. It means staying focused. Obviously on the weekend, spending a fantastic time with the family. And so yeah, everything seems to be going well. I hope you're doing well. Have a beautiful week. Let me know what you think. Obviously, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is your chance to do so. And then I'll see you in the upcoming videos. All the best. Yours truly, Julian. Bye-bye.